Hello everyone. I wanted to quickly cover one piece of rock art around Skinwalker Ranch that looks to have historical significance with the high strangeness taking place at and around the ranch. This historical data looks to show strange phenomena occurring hundreds, if not thousands of years ago at this part of the Uintah Basin in northeastern Utah. To start us off, I wanted to show an old aerial photo of the ranch including the triangle where multiple unexplainable events continue to occur and be captured by the Skinwalker Ranch team. And yes, for those of you not familiar with my work, I have personally been on the ranch and conducted scientific data point gathering. I have appeared on season two of the television series. This is Dinosaur National Monument close to Skinwalker Ranch and Fort Duchesne. This is a large rock art at the Cup Creek site. Here an event is taking place in the sky. What you see in the sky above this area can just as easily be seen in the sky above Skinwalker Ranch and Fort Duchesne. This is created by the Fremont culture. This is the upper left portion of the rock art. The carving has the potential to represent an object moving through the sky, maybe even releasing some type of energy. This rock art panel may coincide with what is being seen and recorded in the sky above the basin, specifically Skinwalker Ranch. I'm talking about something occasionally hidden or cloaked up in the sky above the ranch that is releasing beams of some type of energy. Current scientists on the ranch picked up radio frequencies continuously being transmitted. The glyph shows celestial bodies and the object that seems to be sending out waves of something. We also see upward movement as seen by the four lines located at the very bottom of the glyph. It is a unique carving with nothing else like it in rock art literature that I have researched or sites that I have been to. I wanted to share something posted by the Daily Express. The Daily Express is a daily national middle market conservative tabloid newspaper in the United Kingdom published in London. Look at the similarities. The petroglyph also reminds me of the Nazi de Glocke of post-World War II. But let's not stop here with the similarities. Now, this book was written by Joanne Teller and Norman Blackwater, both Navajo. It was published in 1997. Notice how Skinwalkers, the Circle, and Iconography are all overlapping in the book cover and in the information contained within. Uh, this symbolism brought together by two Native American authors may very well play a part in understanding what is taking place on the Uinta Basin. After all, we're talking about ancient sites populated by what seems to be many different life forms over a very lengthy time period. See where I have one of the black lines pointing? Remember the last glyph that I stated was transmitting? It sure looks similar. Look what it's transmitting to, out in space. A circular object, something we may categorize as a UFO or a UAP. Another alternative idea recently being discussed with others associated with studying the phenomena on the basin is that some type of device above Fort Duchesne, the reservoir, the mesa, and the ranch is breaching space-time. Think about it. This area had large creatures and animals living here in the past. On occasion, they're showing up here in the present. What if a device above the area or underground is creating gaps in whatever holds space-time together, bringing the past together with the present and moments later the future, maybe by resonating a frequency or creating an alternate form of vibration, which by the way is felt and heard underground, enough I might add to make telephone poles shake and vibrate, and that data is being captured and documented. So much is currently taking place above and below the triangle on the ranch. I'm suggesting experiments be conducted to afford the phenomena the ability to interact with the experiment. My experiments have been submitted to the Skinwalker Ranch team and their lead scientists.
I feel that something unique to the area has created an energy that is available here and can be harnessed by someone or something that understands it. It's energetic enough to form what I could only describe as a magnetic portal and something seems to be able to come and go as it pleases. Please stay tuned for future presentations. I will put out on the topics of Skinwalker Ranch, Blind Frog Ranch, and the giants of old that roam the desert southwest. Thank you.